Welcome back on this Sunday morning. Early voting for the 2016 elections already underway. 70,000 Hoosiers are expected to exercise their right early this year. Now, well, that's a good thing. The problem, at least in Marion County, is they need more people to count those ballots. They don't just need a few. They need a few hundred additional people. And if they don't, results in Marion County could be delayed for days. And in a year when candidates are talking about a rigged election, well, this isn't good. So, Robin... You worked, both of you worked on both sides on this. Right. It's disappointing. Huh? Well, they, at least they have time to get people, if indeed they need people to count on Election Day. So they've got to make a kind of outreach, a clarion call. If you believe in democracy, offer yourself up to volunteer and count votes, or else we'll be here on uh, what, Thursday still talking about this election. It is really important. They need hundreds of people. It takes so many people to staff Election Day, and this uh, specifically Marion County uh, and counting absentees. So. We would both urge people yeah. uh, to be part of the process and help. I think that they do get paid uh, for their time. You know, we always talk about how important it is to vote. Right. It's just as important to get out and volunteer to help make Absolutely. these things happen. Right. In the race for governor, Eric Holcomb got a little extra help in this last week. One-time presidential candidate and current Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker made a trip to Indiana to offer his endorsement of Holcomb for governor. Voters are smart. They want candidates who are going to deal with the issues. Uh, they don't want distractions. That may be good for the national media, but I think people here in this state and other states like it throughout the Midwest want people who are going to focus on the issues. Well, and Democrat John Gregg was not to be outdone. He was out meeting with early voters this week as well. I'm hoping that Hoosiers look beyond the party labels. Um, and as a Democrat, you have to in Indiana because you've got to have support from independents and moderate Republicans to get elected. But, you know, there's a lot at stake in this election. Uh, we're electing a governor to lead us into our third century now that we're celebrating 200 years. And uh, we're focusing on the economy and inclusiveness and public education. Robin, can John Gregg attract independents and moderates to win this? He already has. I mean, that's what's shown up in your own poll, because we did look at your results, and it's a valid poll. So, yes, he's already doing that. I mean, he's talked about working with Democrats and Republicans. He did that in the General Assembly when he was Speaker. So, yeah, that's a carryover. Sure he can. Jen, how do you I, see this? Well, I think that Eric Holcomb is going to be our next governor. And like we talked about before, his, he is just now making his case to voters. You know, he has only been in the campaign for a couple of months, and his numbers just keep going up, skyrocketing every day. And John Gregg hasn't been able to close the deal, and that's his challenge. Eric Holcomb has in a record of 10 years serving with Governor Daniels. He has been a big part of the success of our state for the man, last decade. How can a man who's never run for office before, who's only been behind the scenes in one month, basically, run for governor and possibly win. How does that happen? Well, he has a long record of service, um, not just to our country in the Navy, but serving, like I said, with Governor Daniels, with Senator Coates, with Governor Pence. He has been a part of so many of the things that have happened in this state. He knows how campaigns are run. He knows how the state is run. And he's clearly doing a great job. John Gregg is going to be our next governor, not because of what we say here. Your poll shows he's ahead. The voters out here will have a chance to make that decision. I just think, in a final analysis, Kevin, um, you're going to see John Gregg do a very good job on Election Day. And, and we've only got one minute left, so this has to be quick. Uh, instead of going to the ninth, I want to talk just briefly. How much does Donald Trump weigh in on these races? I don't, I don't know that it's going to make a big impact, especially in the Senate race. You know, that race really right now is all about Evan Bayh. I mean, okay. the profile is... I think a lot different, and it's not, uh, it's not necessarily going to go by party lines, but I think that Republicans are doing very well and going to do very Robin, well. I think a lot of fathers are going to have to look at their daughters and say, it's okay for me to vote for a guy that said disparaging things about you, and I don't believe that's going to happen. And it will go down the line and affect other races in All the right. state. Thanks to both of you. And thank you for watching Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get WTHR wherever you are at WTHR.com. It's live 24 hours a day. You can follow us online, on the air, on the go. Meet the Press is next.